What's up, world? Happy New Year! <laughs> okay, so welcome to Next Telly. It's me, Nez. So today I want to talk about a very a funny book, like a book that the whole time I was I was reading it, I was laughing so hard. Um, I listened to it on audio. It's actually available on YouTube. I mean, somebody puts it up there. I don't know whether, you know. Let's say I'm sending you, but I didn't send you. Does that make any sense? I didn't send you to go to look for it on YouTube because it's likely there. But I didn't send you because I'm not sure whether the publishing house is involved. But if you want to get the book, it's available on Audible. It's available on audiobooks.com. And it's available on... Um, and you can get it on Amazon, you know, wherever. So the book is... Um, seriously, I'm kidding. A lot of people keep asking me what am I looking at from here. It's usually my laptop. I usually do a bit of research and I write them down on my notepad so I read from it so that I don't forget and blabber on for the next 20 minutes. So the book is Seriously I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. I love this book. I, I realized I didn't talk about it. The book is very short, like three minutes. Uh, sorry, sorry, three hours. <laughs> it's a little over three hours long. She read it herself, but I feel like it's one of those books that there's no way somebody else would have read it as well as she did because she knew what she had in mind when she was when she was writing the book. So it's like, this is the audio version. Like she talked a bit about the difference between the audio version. While she was reading the book, she talked about the difference between the audio version and the regular version, that's the physical version. The particular part, she actually said that how this, there were some pages that were meant for coloring books for kids. So she tried to reach as many people as possible. She tried to talk to older people, talk to younger people, talk to teenagers, talk to toddlers. She just tried to involve as many people as possible. But the thing about this book is that you will just laugh so hard. Like I was laughing so hard at the point I was like, is, this, is she even serious? Like what's she even saying? You know, because she would say one thing, sound like she's very serious, and suddenly she would say, wait, look, my point is, you know, my point is another book by her, by the way. I had to do small research on other books. She's written several other books. This one, seriously, I'm kidding, was writing was written in 2011. Then she wrote. Uh, the funny thing is that that one I've always known. That's the funny thing is I never actually read it or even listened to it. But it's another book that she wrote in 20, 2003. Then she wrote one in 1995. My point is, which is what she says a lot. So she said, my point is, and I do have one. That's another one in 2009. Anyway, seriously, I'm kidding. It's such a beautiful book. Like I laughed so hard. Uh, I do think that you know, there I've met a few people that when they watch like. Um, US, that's American sitcoms, they don't get the jokes, like they're like, this is not funny, I don't get it. So I feel like if you're that kind of person, you likely might not get the jokes in it, but you don't have to get the jokes to enjoy the book. That's the beauty of this book. There were so many things she talked about. She talked about things like, you know, um, the way we respond to age, the way we respond to um, even the hoarding, <laughs> the way the society responds to different things, uh, politics, being nice to people, food, um she, she just like she just went like you know how you'd be laughing but you're learning a lot while you're laughing so it's like a lot of the things that she was saying they were, she was saying a lot of things based on her understanding of the way the world is down to you even getting too lazy like when technology is making us too lazy um our life is taking over us too much that we're becoming too much of a certain thing it's not what we're supposed to do our need to explore i need to eat fresh vegetables kale to be exact apparently she has a thing for kale she talks about even things like meditating, yoga, uh, even sauna. She had a sauna episode in there. Like, like halfway into the talk, you're like, can this can this lady be, be serious with what she's saying? I don't think she's serious, but you're laughing so hard and it's so entertaining and it's really nice. Um, the book is beautiful. I am. It's available on. Uh, I think I've already said where it is, right? On any audio, audio platform that you go to, check out Squib is there. Check out Audio Audible is there. Check out Audiobooks.com is there, and then it's available on YouTube. But remember about the YouTube, nobody will send you go ahead. So, but it's a very good, like you would laugh so hard listening to this book. It's very feel, feel easy. It's very light. And, you know, she talks about some very serious things and then it's very light and it's very funny. It's really cool. I, there's just so much to learn from her. Um, I like the way she addressed, like my favorite thing was the way she addressed the whole age thing. Like she was like, she couldn't understand how people, everybody's proud. Like when you're young, you can't wait to be, to be referred to as older. Then you get older and suddenly you start wanting to dial, dial down the age. Then suddenly you turn like, let's say 60. And suddenly you start feeling like, you know, everybody should know that I'm 60 years old or when I'm 70. It's like, because at this point it's an achievement that I've reached here. So it's like, she, she, she basically said that whatever age you're in is an achievement that you're there because a lot of people are not privileged to be that age. So if you're 30 years old, be proud that you're 30 years old. You're doing well as a 30 year old because you're alive. If you're 40, be proud. Don't lie that you're 28 or something or don't lie that you're 29. You know, that's basically what she was talking about. Um, she talks a bit about her marriage. 
uh, her not wanting to have kids and what that's about. So it's like, I feel like when I started reading the book, when I started listening to the book, I thought it was an, a biography that she was going for initially. But uh, the biography, it, 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 like, it, like, like I said, it was like a biography, but I don't know that. It's, it's, it's a slightly confusing book, I have to say. <laughs> but it's not confusing in a bad way. I, are you guys coughing like me? Uh, anyway so yeah the book is beautiful ellen ellen is very funny in this book like listen to it though i am now i'm now i'm now wondering if i should get the physical book because i feel like there, there may be some things that i missed from the physical book because this audio version she said this one is for audio so she mentions it a lot in the book this is for audio and i don't know it, it, i don't know you will just laugh so hard really and there's so much to learn from her so i think it's a great book to read and it's a very small book like it's a very, I think it's the smallest audio book I've ever listened to, apart from like when I'm listening to a podcast or something like that. This is like literally three hours. Three hours in a day, I can be done. Like a day of me, so includes. That's it, I'm done reading the book. It's a beautiful book. I think, I don't know, I think it's wonderful to read. Um, so, uh, how is your new year going? More importantly, how's your new year going? I think this book would be great. Like, if you're already feeling like, oh, there's so much I want to do. I hope you're feeling super pumped. But if you want something light, something to make you laugh, and all that, I really think you should read this book. I think you should listen to it. I think it's really nice. It's available on YouTube, like I said. Just type, seriously, I'm kidding. And, I don't know, you would, you would find something to laugh about. Um, if you're in Lagos with me, I know that we're experiencing like I've been in, I've lived in Lagos for about ten years now, yeah. And in ten years, this is the first time I'm I'm experiencing Hamatan like this. Now I grew up in the east, so Lagos Hamatan is is feeling a lot like Hamatan I used to I used to see in Enugu where I grew up, and I love it. Um, I'm coughing. I don't like the cough. I have this situation with my respiratory tract. I don't know what's happening. But I love it. I love the weather like this. I'm not used to it, but I love it. People are complaining. I'm like, I put kidding. By the time the heat comes here, you are not going to believe it. Anyway, I'm uh, wishing you the best week ahead, okay? Um, wishing you the best Tuesday ahead, okay? And wishing you the best year. Um, I can't wait for us to continue this our beautiful journey of reading. Hope you stay reading new. Hope you start thinking of the books you're going to read. I told them we're going to decide on, we're going to do so many, several types of intelligence this year. At least I am, not we. Me, personally, I'm going to do like several types of So there's going to be financial intelligence, social media intelligence, accountability intelligence, if there's such a thing. I don't even know what it is. But social intelligence, um, just we're going to get intelligent on so many things. Like the importance of being intelligent in our move, in everything that we do this year is that 2020 is is going to be crazy it's going to be so good so thank you so much for joining in please if you like this video i mean i feel like by now you should know if you like me or not so i mean like me though like just like me <laughs> subscribe to next telly and don't forget to share tell your friends about this okay or you want you and your friends all of you want to gather together to read more right so that you can make smarter decisions so get your friends to join this troop or this youtube video <laughs> or this youtube video okay so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment and i love you guys thank you so much for checking up and wishing you the best 2020 okay have fun it's always come on, say bye bye <laughs> bye this time you're ready hurting what are you saying <laughs> <laughs>